My name is Jacob Larsen and I am Head of Maritime Safety and Security here at the Ship Owners Association, BIMCO. A question on every ship owner's mind is, how do you detect, respond and recover from cyber incidents directed against your operational technology systems? The Cybersecurity Workbook for Onboard Ship Use will give you the answers to these questions and many more. Ships have been for a very long time uh, just tiny islands uh, completely isolated from the internet. And the big change in the last few years for the uh, shipping industry has been the introduction of uh, the VSAT system, so the relatively cheap, effective satellite communication uh, to, to shore. Uh, but we are totally unprepared uh, because for such a long time it was not an issue at all for us. So we need to wake up and fast. If you follow a little bit the kind of hacking community, um, you can see that this guy seems to be very excited uh, with the prospect of a new industry that they could take advantage of. So they are becoming more and more knowledgeable uh, on the ship system and they see the shipping industry as, I quote, uh, a low hanging fruit that they can actually uh, grab easily. Uh, because the, the lack of cyber defense we have. So as soon as that happens, there is a risk of an attack on the control system of the ship. And that means, that means navigation, that means propulsion, cargo, ballast, whatever. At that stage, if that happens, you can, it's, it's not anymore a question of a ransomware that will appear on, on a screen, on a business system, and yes, you have lost your file. It could be something which is a danger to life or to environment, uh, and it starts to be really a serious threat. These cases, there are few of them, but they have already happened, so it's not just theoretical. Uh, I just think that it's bound to be uh, something more and more frequent in the future, uh, just because we seems to be a, an interesting case for hackers. The book is targeting the weakest but most important link in the security chain, uh, which effectively is the crew. So these guys are on the front lines and we need to do everything we can to support them. The book is actually called a workbook and that's very important. It's something which is very practical. There is not a lot of theory. Half of the book is actually checklist that you can follow and that will help you in your day-to-day -day job for protecting the ship.